Suns and moons, and of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself, and overall, the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know. I got to remind people and warn people. I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try and do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest or priestess. All floating through that comment section, but also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend somebody's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you. You definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energies. Parts may resonate with you, parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. Before I move on, I want to say, you know, there's some chaos and conflict in the air. I feel like there's a lot of confrontations happening. Somebody may want to confront you. You may have confronted someone. Something is being blocked off. Somebody's being divinely guided out of a, a tough, tumultuous situation. You may be in an area where the weather is a little bit bipolar. OK, um, hot one minute, sun, um, sun one minute, rain one minute, you know, um, it's something about the ecosystem is what I'm getting. Right. But this could definitely be about confrontation. OK, elements mixing. We got storm storm weather and then we have the star card. So this is telling me something is happening in the sky. I'm also here and keep your eyes to the sky. Have faith. OK, um, I do feel like. Somebody wants to confront someone. Some negative energy is being blocked off from you, okay? Somebody's realizing something about why somebody is in this energy of confrontation, okay? It could be you or someone else. Somebody, um, somebody also may be developing some sort of psychic gift, okay? So it's someone's wish fulfillment to have some um some finances some wealth okay but whatever it is they invested in you invested in there is no fruits okay so this is hard work with little reward i'm also feeling like somebody has little regard for someone okay or other people this is somebody that's very selfish uh in nature any and all information that you need about me will be in the description box below, including the link where you can copy and paste that in your browser and receive a free birth chart from a reputable site. No affiliation to me. All right. I want to welcome back all my viewers, all my members, all my supporters, those of you that pray for me, those of you that donate, okay? I really do appreciate all of you. I did do a membership poll, so if you are a member, make sure to check that out, all right? Be mindful there are scammers in the comment section. Anybody trying to solicit you to go off of this site and make some money or go see someone else, those are scammers, okay? I'm hearing looks could be deceiving. We have Ace of Fire, a new beginnings, new beginnings. That's the theme of the week. OK, this could be a romantic partnership. Somebody may be getting the urge to create something. You may be a Leo or this is about a family dynamic or just you being passionate, getting centered. OK, we're definitely speaking about collaborations. I'm also hearing something about wish fulfillment. Before I turned on the camera, I picked up the en energy of triangulation. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Whether if you know it or not, uh, this could be about a third party. This could be a throuple. Somebody may have put you in competition, all right? Uh, I'm, I'm feeling like somebody needs to be sensitive to someone else's... Um, plight here okay maybe they're being called to message from air we're speaking about communication okay hearts communication quick communication this is also speaking about protection okay this could be rejection for your protection all right i feel like somebody's having to abandon some sort of plan but somebody is in this energy where they want to be confrontational is what i'm picking up um empathically okay with message from air this is about communicating what you want Somebody not wanting you to communicate a truth, 
Okay, somebody may have lost faith in something that they were investing in, abandoning some form of a project here. Okay, we have five of water. This is regret, regret from whatever it, whatever it is was communicated to this person about this person, something that um, was realized. All right, somebody may not be feeling loved at this time. Maybe you blocked off communication. Okay, or they blocked off communication from you. It's all a lesson. So stop stressing. What's this on the fence? Okay, we have the enslaved prisoner. All right. So somebody was trying to bind someone to a negative fate. Okay, because they didn't want someone to get a new opportunity. They didn't want your work to be prosperous. They didn't want you to collaborate. Okay, this is somebody that wanted you to be in this energy of poverty, poverty, consciousness, lack, regret. Okay, they wanted you to be in debt. They wanted you to be in bad health, financial losses and things of that sort. If this is somebody that wanted to collaborate with you and they still chose to be a part of this um, group dynamic, they had little regard for you, okay, your family, your dreams, okay? And now this person is in this energy of suffering here. This person may want a new opportunity. I do feel like somebody partnered up with someone. Um, they wanted to keep somebody bound, Okay, for a specific reason, possibly for uh, some material gain, status or something. I've been picking up the energy of somebody wanted someone to be trapped, okay, with a child, okay. Um, that child could be a... Um, a business somebody wants to start, but they can't get leverage here because they are facing karma, okay. I feel like you are working on your dharma, Um this energy that they sent out about you or tried to present to people in regards to you um, is not sticking with undies and mermaids. OK, you could have a platform or something and be something is being communicated on a platform. Somebody may be really critical of the things that you say. OK, um, but I do feel like this is about something that was presented to a collective of people with undies and mermaids uh, being here. All right. Possibly to get somebody to walk away way okay i feel like it's having the opposite effects with the six of swords this is taking ownership of the energy that you put out okay so we're definitely speaking about somebody moving away from someone or going towards someone depending on if you or this person has learned their lesson either show me what it is i need to see karma wanted to come out right so when I said Dharma, this is what I'm talking about. OK, so um, to reiterate, to go back um, on that Dharma energy for some of you, somebody didn't realize or maybe you didn't realize um, how different you are in a sense that you are you have a unique, per a unique perspective than the people that you often encounter. OK, or at least you're being seen as that way. A new opportunity was waiting for you after you completed a test. All you had to do was overcome something here. Okay. Maybe this is self-limiting beliefs, but we definitely speaking about there's somebody confronting someone about an isolated incident, what happened when somebody was isolated, and or how someone got isolated here. We have the emperor here with Oshala. I feel like this person has pass some sort of test or they are recognizing that they are in the midst of a test with the five of earth being here. Somebody's taking a financial hit. Okay. This could also be, um, a, a bad business in investment, somebody taking a loss. Okay. They just didn't want whoever this is in this emperor energy to get a new opportunity. This is kind of like somebody trying to scapegoat somebody that is high ranking. So this was definitely something that was in the making as far as this was a test that somebody had to overcome or has to overcome to be able to get this new opportunity. Okay. Somebody did feel trapped by a choice that they made. Either show me what it is. Oh, yeah. Okay. I right, cool. We got scorpionic energy. So we're definitely speaking about a transformation or an ending. Somebody may be um, locked up. Okay. Somebody got caught off guard. Somebody may have been scapegoated in this situation. Again, it was to keep somebody from moving forward. We, def we definitely have spiritual gatekeeper on the board. Okay. 
Somebody wasn't aware that the people in their environment was ta -ta at them, They're, you know, or you. Either show me what it is I need to see. I mean, if you are an emperor in a sense where you are a male, um, then I feel like, yeah, uh, this is definitely an emperor's, uh, emperor's reading. Of course, we all have masculine and feminine energy. OK, but I feel like if you're watching for your divine masculine or, you know, this is your divine masculine energy where you stop at at this point is this new beginning. Ace of fire. Somebody is trying to suppress your voice, keep you trapped. OK, not wanting you to be heard or do you speak a truth? Somebody also may have accused you, accused this emperor, whoever it is, is resonating with, of being a part of uh, a throttle. OK, you got your guards up with Ogun. All right. That could definitely be somebody's head. But we're talking about somebody moving forward. We got the female Ashu. That's my Pamba Gyra card. So um, for me, now I'm not trying to put this on um, this deity. OK, but this here um, for me is a sign that somebody was doing some bippity boppity boo. OK, why is uh, well. What else do we need to know before I move on to either show me what it is I need to. Somebody was trapped in some sort of arrangement. Somebody is definitely um, doing some alchemy, okay, to stop something from traveling, to keep somebody stuck with the world card here. We're we're, we're talking about a negative outcome, a negative fate. So Hold on. You, when I'm picking up, is somebody, you know, that's my cemetery card. So somebody could have been... Um, at the cemetery, okay, doing whatever it is they they do. This could have something to do with somebody that transitioned in the past as well. All right, there's some sort of disagreement that is happening. Okay, this is also someone that is skilled with the elements. They deal with the elements. All right, uh, whether if you know it or not, or whoever knows this or not. So if somebody's at a stalemate. They wanted this person to be stuck at a stalemate. They didn't want a cycle to be completed with the world card here. They didn't want um, somebody to complete a goal, learn a lesson, okay, possibly even to travel, right? They wanted to condemn this person to a negative fate, okay? Somebody may have gotten sick from some negative energy that they presented. They may have wanted you to get sick, okay? I did a reading where it talked about... Um, who would benefit from you not being here? This is definitely going to resonate with that person. All right. So somebody definitely wanted somebody's divine feminine to get sick. Okay. A cycle of that happening is complete. And somebody doesn't like that. Let's see. What's at the bottom? We got a tower. All right. So they was calling in a storm, wanting to confront you. This is a rival, whether it's a male, a male or a female. Why is the ace of fire here? I feel like this is going to be short and sweet, but we shall see. Why is the Ace of Fire here? Either show me what it is I need to see. Oh, how did I know the Emperor was going to be in the building? We got the Emperor. Okay, so this Emperor is realizing something. This Emperor is having a rebirth. This person is coming out of a dark place or being condemned to a negative fate. Okay. Um something could also be taking place by a lunar eclipse this aries and this taurus is really sticking out horns are significant something could be taking place by may okay or currently it may, something may be starting since we are in aries season the time um that i am filming this reading What's today? Today is a Monday. Is today a Monday? No, today is Tuesday. Okay. So we're definitely speaking about somebody healing something. Um, getting a renewal here. Balancing their energy. Having control over their emotions or their environment or gaining that. Okay. Yeah. With the Wheel of Fortune here. After being stuck. Okay. This is somebody that was taking on the energy of people around them. That's why they wanted this person to stay stuck. They either wanted you or whoever this is to pay, um, pay, pay the costs for whatever it is they want you for. Okay. And what I mean by that is they wanted you to take on their karma. This is somebody, if they know they have a poverty curse on them or they're in this financial lack, they want you to pay the bills. They want you to do all the work. All right. Um, they're very controlling and manipulative and they want to keep somebody in this energy of enslavement. Ace of fire. Why is this here? 
Oh, what did I say? What did I say? That Nine of Swords has been coming out a lot lately. And if it's not the actual Nine of Swords, it's the energy of anxiety, depression, because somebody's plans here are falling apart. Okay. I'm hearing something about impoverished. Okay. So, well... We have the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords. So this is something that somebody did to themselves. Okay, because we got the Ace of Wands here. Ace of Wands talks about new, something new, a new job, a new person, inspiration. Okay, so if this is about your creativity, you doing something that you're passionate about, somebody wanted you to feel trapped. You may have said something, shared something, okay? And this person wanted you to be isolated, restricted, okay? This could also be somebody that's physically restrained and couldn't and can't move forward or at least in the past, okay? Somebody may have tried to affect someone's health, their livelihood. Aleba, why is this here? Oh, huh. somebody's losing control. Somebody lost control. Somebody does not want to be around this disruptive energy with temperance here in reverse. They were calling on a disruptive energy. Somebody didn't want you to feel grounded. Okay. They didn't want you to experience heaven on earth. Or anything of the sort with the temperance card being here. We got Beelzebub, right? Beelzebub and we have the temperance. <laughs> so this is somebody that, that draws off negative energy. They call on negative energy. This is something um, they like chaos. They create out of chaos. 13 could be significant. This is somebody that's very skillful, skilled at doing this. They like competition. OK, they wanted somebody to be in bad health because they didn't get a new opportunity. The Queen of Wands. OK, so this is somebody that they possibly gave a, uh, um, a new beginning to. OK, and or this is somebody that is attracted to you. And because they are attracted to you, they wanted to make this person walk the tightrope. Right. With the four of wands. Somebody wants somebody to stay in a partnership. I feel like this person was. Um, they whoever this emperor is, they didn't know that these people that they were working with or in their family dynamic was capable of doing this. This is this is somebody that did this unbeknownst to them. They didn't know that they were working with three or more people or did in the past. And I just heard the car horn. OK, I, I feel like somebody was sleeping or in some sort of illusion with the moon card here. All right. So if somebody's coming out of a slumber. OK, I'm getting the energy of hibernation. This person came real, became real defensive with the people that they created a foundation with or the people that they were working with. Fire of Earth, why is this here? And here we go with the just when I thought it was going to be quick. We're definitely talking about rivalry, challenges, spiritual bully, physical bully, abusive relationship, abusive people. We got nothing but fives, fives, okay? Somebody wanted you to feel restricted and bound. This is somebody that operates out of, and they, they operate in haste, okay? Um, this is somebody that, whoever they were doing this to, which I believe is this emperor, they wanted a commitment from this person. And this person freed themselves or isn't uh, attempting to, and it's causing somebody to feel unstable. Right? What is this? We got the nine of coins in reverse. All right. We have <laughs> the three of wands in reverse. So somebody was working really, really hard because they don't want someone to be, they don't want to be single, but they want somebody to look like they are codependent. They want somebody to work really, really hard. Okay. Um, maybe you or whoever this is, you were working hard. Okay. But somebody is definitely getting a financial setback with the nine of coins here in reverse, clarifying the five the five of earth. Okay. That's, that's somebody taking a financial hit. Okay. This is somebody more than likely they are petitioning 
whatever it is they petition to affect somebody's finances and it's happening in their environment. Okay. Three of Wands in reverse, it talks about delays, it talks about setbacks, it also talks about lack of foresight, all right, somebody's plans not, not falling through, what's here, somebody wanted to have that child, have a new beginning, we're definitely speaking about somebody finding out about some betrayal in their household, in their business, okay, to keep somebody from getting a new opportunity, somebody wanted you know, y'all probably tired of hearing it, but somebody wanted to trap somebody with the baby. Somebody felt like because they had a child with someone that they had rights to that person here. Okay. This is somebody who's possessive, controlling, and very competitive. All right. And they do it in the, in the dark. They're doing it to somebody that is spiritually high ranking. Why is the enslaved prisoner here, please? And they go, right. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. We got the tower. So this is what somebody was trying to avoid. This is somebody that was very materialistic. Oh. They wanted you to feel oppressed, right? The cards is on the fence. We got enslaved prisoner on the fence. Clarifying the tower, which I read it in both ways when it is on the fence like that. The tower in the reverse speaks about oppression. It, it talks about fear. And this is why somebody condemned themselves to a negative fate with the eight of swords. This is a self-imposed prison. They did it to themselves. Their choices had them in this energy of, of feeling defeated and lack. This is somebody that does not want to take accountability or responsibility for their own energy. We also have the eight of coins in reverse. Okay. This is somebody that was trying to per perfect a skill. They didn't want you to feel focused. They didn't want you to focus on someone else. We have the nine of swords here in reverse. Somebody's being tormented. And this is something that cannot be changed. It can't be changed. I feel like you became real defensive or whoever this is became real defensive. This is somebody that got out of their heart space and started using their head with the Knight of Swords here. Eight of Air, why is this here? Or they need to. Something could happen in Aquarius season. All these cards coming out on the fence. I did not want to do a behind the scenes reading, but with this coming out like this, I have to. Okay. Because, you know, of course they're working on me. You know, you know how it is. All right. We got um, the lover's card. Okay. Um, clarifying the eight of air. Um, yeah. Yeah. Eight of air here, eight of there here. <laughs> so if it's some somebody gave a new opportunity, this emperor gave a new opportunity, whether, whether if it was a romantic prospect or somebody that works for this emperor or wanted to work, I'm here under this emperor, okay? There could be somebody that they work with, a colleague or something like that. If this is somebody that's an entrepreneur, they have their own business. Somebody could be in the music industry, okay, or some form of arts, with the six of coins here. This is somebody that invested in lot, a lot. They put out a lot of money here. But with the with the hopes that they would receive double or more. They, they This is something that the emperor was promised here. Okay. Um, this could be somebody that they mentor. That got a liking. Um, wanted a relationship with this person. This emperor could be confronting somebody that they have a contract with and possibly ending that contract or there is conflict taking place in their environment. The six of coins. This is unrequited love. Somebody's struggling here. 
because of whatever they sent out, whatever they petitioned. This is like, okay, this emperor was allowing themselves to be martyred. Because this was a lesson that they had to learn about their environment. I'm picking up the energy of the last reading. Loyalty. Somebody was learning the lesson of loyalty. I hate to... Well, I'm not going to stop it. Let me just turn it on here. Because I'm like wondering why is it so dark. Okay, the light came on. Somebody realized that they were in a toxic situation and they moved forward. They definitely tried... Whoever this emperor was working with, they may not have known that they were trying to block somebody's light, okay, or block somebody's hope, okay? Um, and they did this because they either wanted this emperor to not become single, or they became single and they started, or you became single, whoever this is became single, because of some sort of deception that they found out. We're talking about multiple betrayal. Because this is this is here on the Ten of Swords side. Okay. We're talking about a painful ending. Okay. Abuse by the people that they loved. This person may have went into isolation. I've been picking up the energy of somebody that is not accepting phone calls. But it's kind of like, <laughs> I don't know. Somebody could be, I mean, you know, the emperor is the indication of Aries. Leo, we got a lot of fire sign energy. Aquarius is sticking out with all the swords. We have Gemini. I mean, you could be these signs, Scorpio, Temperance, Sagittarius. You could be any of these signs, have them in any placement, right? But because I'm doing this in Aries season, right, it's either this person is an Aries or they are an entrepreneur, a husband, it could be all, but they are confronting people that they have contracts with. Okay, I'm here aggressively, like, hold your temper, hold your anger, because Somebody wants you to be isolated. Remember that. Okay. Because you moved away, they want to keep this emperor stuck. Now, at first, I'm hearing a miscarriage of, just, of justice. They were doing it to this person's divine counterpart. Could be somebody that they have a family with. You have a family with or a soulmate. Maybe somebody that's supposed to have a family with you in the future. At first, they were doing it to the divine feminine energy. And they kept receiving bad luck. Now, that triangulation energy is someone that has went to multiple people. Because every time they did something, the energy went back. Right? Now, somebody got a lump sum of money. Let me just tell you that. And I'm... And, I, and I'm itching. Somebody got asthma or something. Because I wasn't itching until I turned it. Somebody's have some, some irritation. And now I'm looking. It was just storming. Now the sun coming out. Okay. Now the sun is coming. It's like somebody wants to stop somebody from working. We got three or two. Five. Freedom. Freedom. From some sort of restraint. Some sort of obligation. Somebody's very resourceful. You did this in the past life. You were with these people in a, a past life. Whoever you are. Whoever's in this emperor energy. You're somebody that's very successful. You might not know that. Because you were in a karmic chapter of your life. Possibly for a very long time. 10 years. 2 years. 20 years for some of you. You were giving away your power. Now, you may have been a business owner, but if you would have completed the lesson sooner, you would have been more prosperous. You were giving out your energy. Hear what I'm saying? You were giving out your energy to the wrong people. That's why they were working so hard. I don't know what this is. Look at that. And it went right on top of Ten of Swords. Hmm. 
We got the Four of Wands. It's like it's like the ancestor spirit, universal life force source saying, hey, make no mistakes about it. These are the people that's in your household. The four of wands, that's your foundation. You left. Whoever this is, you left. You stop playing martyr in a situation. Are you are you thinking about it? As I look down, we see the ten of cups. Come on, man. That's why they keep doing whatever they do to my channel because they feel like if they suppress my channel that this person won't get this message. But this person is already watching me. And if they're not watching me, they're watching some, someone else. They're getting signs of this in their environment. It's too many cars that's on the fence. This part, this emperor, is money is slowed down right now. Right now as we speak. Because this is a test with the temperance card here in reverse. This is a Garden of Eden. <laughs> this Garden of Eden. You see that? That's a Garden of Eden. Somebody feels like they have walked out of heaven. We got that card here. You see? You see them eyes right there? Come on, man. Next to the five of earth. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory what's happening in this situation. All that is clarifying the three of wands in reverse. If you don't know what the three of wands in reverse, you doubt what I'm saying? Look it up. Somebody's being delayed because they don't realize. It's like they refuse to accept. And I don't know why. Maybe they're under some form of illusion. Somebody did, though. Somebody knows. But it's like, I don't know why. Um, maybe because they did what you know the little rituals, and some people you know they wanna they wanna act like like it's not possible. You know how many content creators do rituals, huh? Especially when we we got seasons changing. <laughs> some of y'all y'all know, y'all know, you know it's happening. But because they got a smiling face, you'll go right along with it. And that's why you start to. Why is I cool? Yeah, I really don't care. I done told y'all before. I really don't care. I mean, not that I don't care about you. I really don't care about what they attempting to do here on this channel. Okay. I'm hearing justice will prevail. And I stand on that. So. We got the Hierophant energy, false prophet, and reverse. Mm, mm, mm. This is somebody that they was going to for answers. That's a part of setting them up. Somebody that they allowed back in their home, somebody in their home. Something happened when somebody returned home from some form of isolation, possibly in the past. They didn't realize that this was people that they were working with that was suppressing their energy, that was draining them, that was doing something excessively to keep somebody stuck with the nine of coins here in reverse. This is somebody that's jealous and envious. Okay. This is somebody that wants you to be broke. Somebody that always comes to you and wants a hand out. And if you don't give it to them, they start attacking your true divine feminine, your business, you. It's like they, they, this person is very vengeful. There, there it is. Very, very vengeful. So they either went to a female or shul to buy someone's energy or they are one. Why is this female or shul here? This is my marriage card, by the way, also. Six of Swords, taking out the competition. Run, but you can't hide. Somebody, best man that's involved in it, colleague, business partner, child. I mean, you know. This could be this emperor that is in this energy of hiding here. It's like every time they come around this person, they get demoted. They're, they get dropped down to a knight. Like, that's what I feel. This is somebody that stands over them while they sleep. 
or they do things while this person is asleep with the four of swords here. No doubt that this person feels this energy. They feel smothered. They feel um, like a monitoring spirit is over them if it's not an actual person. But this is a, a full moon here. So this is somebody that does incantations on the full moon. All right. Possibly the new moon, but this is a full moon. It could be. A, well, this is a full moon. This may be a new moon right here. This is somebody that does it repeatedly. And this person may not realize, like, if this is you and you watching, um, this would be somebody that will contact you around the different transitions. They got to get in contact with you because the energy is weakened. Okay. You become immune to it. You say things and this person knows okay, that you're not under the effects of some illusion that they are trying to present. And as I look here, I see Beelzebub, right? So we got the Six of Swords to the Seven of Swords. Mm, mm, mm. A liar, liar, pants on fire. You hiding from your ex, your in-laws, or somebody's hiding from you, somebody that was a part of this betrayal. Two of air. Oh, this became this gun became uh, draining here. All right, two of coins. Oh, somebody's multitasking, weighing their options. We got the two of swords and the two of coins. So, somebody wants somebody to feel stuck. They want somebody to. Not use their brain, not make a choice here. Somebody wants somebody to be in this um, family dynamic. This is somebody that will continuously, you know, they make no doubts about it. Whenever they do softening the softening of the heart, wanting somebody to be sympathetic, they get that right. Whenever they feel like, oh. This person is not showing me any empathy. Okay. Let me present this mask, this illusion to get this person's attention. So I can receive this give and take and this person goes right back. Right back. And they get demoted right back to this knight of swords. Needing to speak their truth, not trusting their intuition. What's at the bottom here? King of Cups. Oh, they they pull on this person's heartstrings. The King of Cups. Where'd the King? Oh, here we go. The King of Cups to the Page of Cups. So they go back because they have a child with this person. Um, they don't know if somebody is pregnant. They don't know if a child is theirs. But as I look over, I see the tower. So something happened. I'm not going to do a part two of this reading. I'm just going to get it all out here on the table. And whatever comes out, comes out, you know. Hopefully, they don't try to get my video demonetized. But even if it didn't get demonetized, make sure you share the video. <laughs> Why is Eight of Swords here? Eight of Swords. So we got the Phoenix. And the twin flame again. So this is somebody that wanted you to believe you were soulmates. You were twins. And yeah. You, you know that that's not possible, right? Because now you, you're taking a financial hit. So you, you're having to evaluate something. Maybe a call. Maybe some paperwork or something. Somebody looking closely at something or they need to. Hmm. Engagement ring and love. So this person went back, offered a new beginning to someone that put them in the reverse. This person may want to reach out to you. I feel like you are not accepting this person's phone calls. Why is the five of earth here? Oh, that pretty self-explanatory there. Put them in the coffin. Moving right along. Why is the eight of air here? Because really, I'm kind of tired, you know. 
We got the snake, karmic relationship. I like you. So, yeah. So, this is somebody that holds back emotions. Um, they dress it up. When they feel like they're not getting you to chase after them, uh, getting you to do what they want, they put a little spice, they put a little sugar on the schedule of that, that they, you know, they, you know, they, they, they go into them honey jars again. They call, um, I don't know, the conjurer of the West. Y'all know what I'm talking about because you watch me, right? You know, you know what it is. Give me some. I know you. I know you. Why is this female sure here? I might not like you, but I'm sure the feel, feeling is mutual. Secrecy. The betrayal. <laughs> Somebody's partner is hiding something. What you hide? Huh? What you hide? Let's see. I don't I ain't trying to get no. I would read, but we already at 29, 27. It looks like it might be. Um, why is the Four of Swords here? Traditionally, the Four of Swords talks about abuse. Abuse of authority, abusive person. Um... Somebody resting, take resting from someone. Well, it's the five of swords. That's abuse of authority, abusive person. But we got the four of swords to the five of swords. So somebody is resting and recovering from this abusive relationship. You know, I got to be specific here because, you know, you got you got the ops, you know, want me to discredit me. Even though they know I'm telling they know they know I'm, they, they know I'm in there like swim well. Before, source talks about rest and recovery. So whoever was doing this sorcery here, they had to rest. So they feel like, you know, they gained their foot and that they watched that reading where I said you're going to get a burst of energy. And they was like, yeah, I'm going to get a burst of energy. Let me go back. Mm, mm, mm. Let me go back to doing this, this, this conjuring here. Four swords. What? Okay. So somebody's conversing with an official person? A court official? Was they, was they, they, they was being interrogated? Or somebody was trying to set somebody up for something that they didn't do. So they can be stuck. And so they won't get to this wish fulfillment. Um, the Ten of Cups. See, because this, this somebody want to be in a loving and supportive relationship. But they're not currently in one. Okay. They around somebody that's deceptive. So this person is going all the way around the board here. They trying to dot all their eyes and cross all their teeth. But what is this conversation about? Oh, oh man. Oh. Um. Where do I go here? Let's see. Where is this enga engagement ring? Let's take the two that flipped uh, that, that was over here because it's right on top of Ten of Swords. You know we got to take that. Somebody deep in their thoughts about who they gave this commitment to or who they want to give this commitment to with the e infant here. So somebody's realizing somebody wasn't as innocent. Now they're thinking, man, I made the wrong choice. Um... I was misguided here. Whatever choice they may have them have them in this energy of feeling stuck. Gloomy thoughts. Good gent. They were working with a common. They are a con man. Somebody was promised something here, but they was just stolen from. Somebody may feel like somebody stole the opportunity from them or you, or this is what this person was trying to do. I do feel like it's a conversation going. Um Whoever this female shoe is working with it could be a male that they wanted to send towards the divine feminine or your divine feminine. Take it out. It resonates. Now I want to see why is this lover's card here on the fence? Well, no, we got karmic relationship and the snake. 
or somebody somebody's in trapped with or somebody went to jail behind. This person was acting like, of course, they like you. Somebody that they're currently dealing with. This is somebody that is, that is in the middle of a lesson. Something is happening in somebody's foundation. Somebody needs to get isolated. Somebody's not at home. Somebody comes to somebody's home when they're not there. Because we got a secret here. Karmic relationship. Why is this here? Three, three, five, two. On the clock. Ah, karmic relationship. A thief. Rich girl. So, yeah, this is somebody that they wanted to be a person of status, remain a person of status. Somebody knows that they are a karmic in this situation. This is somebody that they definitely have a contract with, with the lover's card being here. Mm -hmm. So they're working with a snake. They are a snake. They're fearful. Of a secret coming out. So they're working with somebody to keep something stop, stop, um, stuck, blocked. Somebody's realizing someone's a hidden enemy. Um, somebody's realizing why they are stuck and or something happened. The details of something happened and happened while they were isolated. <laughs> This could be about somebody that was isolated. If this reading resonates, make sure to lock, watch the last two readings. The snake here. Oh, definitely. Somebody's left hand man. Right hand man. I say left hand. <laughs> man. Whoever this person was. Could be a woman. Was a part of some secrecy. A long way. So we're talking about a journey here. <laughs> and that's it. So yeah, completion. So you, sh you shared that. Somebody shared that. Somebody got some documentation. They got released from something. I'm hearing the contract. Mm -hmm. Somebody's very um, mischievous. They lie. They bear false witness. They do paperwork. They didn't want something to change, obviously. Possibly their foundation, their stability main character what is behind it a main character so a male and a female are involved could be relatives could be people that you work with or this person works with all right um let's see coffin why is this here they, these cards keep coming out so somebody was promised some money we already went through that right in the beginning when we seen the, the doors with no abundance, right? Hope and great water. So somebody thought if they ended something, a connection here, a person, that they will receive something. They will receive somebody's spiritual inheritance, tangible inheritance. This could be about an inheritance to somebody that passed away. Unexpected money. So somebody got some money and move forward, but also I'm getting the energy of somebody receiving some money and somebody paying somebody to do some work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I know because I didn't have my stars here. that Y'all that have been here for a while, you already know. I, I know you already know what's taking place right now. Ah. Oh. Um, send me positive energy, y'all. Some of y'all, y'all do it anyway. It's a daily practice because I, 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 I pick up on the negative energy, but I feel the positive energy as well. And I'm very appreciative to you for that. Why is um, the tower here in reverse? This is a buzz. This, this is somebody, they're a Debbie Downer. Tower here in reverse. There's so many cards here that's coming out on the fence like that. I'm sure somebody can't think straight. Right? Because every angle that they try to attack, they don't want to appear like they're losing. As soon as they get money, they spend it. 
if it's not on some sort of sorcery, it's getting readings or they going out and, and shopping. They may even get like child support. They don't use it for what is being what it was meant for release completion this so somebody definitely got out of a toxic situation okay you started i feel like this is divine feminine here you may have surrendered this connection with this person some of you don't want to be with this person but that's not stopping these people okay we here we here right that's not stopping him if he would have gone to someone and say this is happening to me more than likely they didn't do so much confusion that everything around you is it feels like it's stuck but it's for your protection is what i'm getting um we got stamina here so you definitely gain a new perspective you gain some energy you took a risk here. But so did this person. Let's see. So somebody wanted to block somebody's energy. Again, creativity. This is somebody that feels like if they can't get you, they're going to get your person. And for some of you, if you not if you are not this emperor, this is about your emperor. And they keep going back to this person. They keep going back. So it keeps you coming up in this throttle type of energy. Love triangle energy. But it's something that you're supposed to gain at the end of this. I don't know what it is, right? Possibly a piece. Because after you go through all of this, that's that's the only thing you could even want is your peace of mind. Nine of Swords. This is crazy. Stamina. Somebody's energy is being drained. They they can't sleep. This is someone. They don't use their intuition. They got lack of foresight. Okay. They have power with uh, problems with control. For some of you, this is somebody that you have a child with. They have a child with. Somebody that is either is married or you were married to this person. The Hierophant in reverse talks about a false prophet. Somebody that you may have trusted or somebody that is is be as is seen as somebody that's trustworthy. I feel like you released this negative energy. I'm hearing a stronghold. You released the energy of always wanting to be right or prove yourself to this person. Now somebody has problems here. It's like you stop feeding the animals. I mean, don't feed the animals. Why is the Hierophant here in reverse? Change. So, yeah, deception. So, um, that's just clarifying what I said. You changed, but this person didn't change. Because you changed, they wanted something to end for you. Somebody wanted you to feel depleted. They didn't want you to feel supported. They didn't want you to be seen as an original, a throne, an elite, and a light. Oh. Lovers. I mean, come on. Deception and will. We got stand your ground. Stand your ground. Somebody needs to 
forgive themselves. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. But I feel like they keep going back to this person, the snake in the grass. I'm hearing they feel like they can't get nobody else. This, this is a lesson that's being taught to this person about energy. They also have an ego problem. They're very egotistical. They want to be right. They think somebody's going to do right. They also blame themselves because they have issues controlling themselves, controlling their emotions, controlling their body parts. So maybe that's why they keep going back to this person because they want to, you know. Why is the four of, and every time they go back, they hit them with the he, 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 how. Every time they go back, you see, because they too, they too open to this person. Like this, this person's ego is so big, so big. Or they strictly operate out of passion. This person, no doubt, is drained by the time they finish encountering this person, these people. But. Because there's relations involved, and you know what I'm talking about. They think that it's from that. That's what they think. This person is spiritually weak. Um, and they're spiritually immature. And unfortunately, this is your divine partner. They're still in the upright. Somebody's DM is still in the upright here. Ah, man, maybe this person is offering money, but it's just to keep them, just to keep them stuck, to keep them from moving forward. Um, only card I want to know about is this fatality. Why is this here? Gain. You see it. And you need to go back and watch the reading again. Maybe you should. Somebody's being slowed down. Somebody's being cautioned to slow down. Because with integrity coming out here on the fence and fatality, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep on moving forward because I'm already sick. Slow down. It's nothing but deceptive energy around you or around this person. We got integrity on the fence, clarifying fatality. And the, the wind have picked up again. So they're going to storm energy, right? Oh, um, I'm going to go on over here so y'all can hear it. The other y'all can hear it is. I don't know if you can hear it. Yeah. Um, just sickening. Just, 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 just sickening. Let me see. I gotta get a PG thirteen deck because y'all know they got their hand on the. They got their hand on the trigger, boy. I'm just driving. All right. Thoughts. Why is this here? I am miserable, so I watch you. Obsessed. Unloyal friend and our family member will do or has done anything for attention. Um, no, will do or has done anything to get what I want. That's on top of this person that's in a self-imposed prison. See, that's why they, they, they don't have no boundaries, right? Exposed. So what I feel like this is, this is somebody that put out some false information about somebody that they were obsessed with, or you were. But we got Ascended Masters 
in the building. If you're not an actual ascended master, have the protection of ascended master. You're an ascended soul. You're spiritually high ranking. You possibly didn't know that until you went through this uh, obstacle. This is also a tarot reader that they were going to, or they are. That was a part of this debauchery. Whoever they were working with, with Aleba and Temperance here in reverse. Why is Temperance here in reverse? 333, this person was not happy with what the divine gave them. The gifts the divine gave, they wanted yours too. They take what they want. This is someone that is either watching a lot of collective readings. They do collective readings or they're pretending to be somebody of the light and they are really somebody that is dark. A mother speaks the truth. Maybe you spoke a truth. Somebody spoke a truth about you, Divine Feminine, or they know the truth about you. They know that you don't deserve this, but they don't care because they got a spirit on them. Right? We got to leave me alone. Disassociate. In the upright, this is the handler card. So somebody's always being watched. And I say that monetary spirit. That's what this, they was trying to put on somebody. If this is not an actual spirit, this is people. That they have watching you. And your work. While you work. At work. Okay. Nine of coins in reverse. Why is this here? Is this nine of coins? I got to make sure, you know. Um, yeah, it is nine of coins. But what I'm picking up, right? Nine of coins in the upright. It, it talks about somebody that is working, that's working really hard. But it also speaks about financial setbacks. But what I'm getting, because nine in reverse, right? We got yin and yang energy. Is the six of pentacles. The six of pentacles. Debt. Right? Struggling financial setbacks. Especially with the five of earth right next to that. It was promised something here by causing an ending to someone. Putting them in this energy. You know. You look now. You see what's happening here. Putting them in, in, is in this energy. They didn't think it was ever going to be them, of course, with the three of wands here in reverse. This been talking about teamwork makes the dream work, right? Three, power of three. Of course, they did it umpteenth times. Three is like a trilogy, a trinity. Yeah, a trinity. Nine of pentacles in reverse. We got, I was going to say three cards, but it's four. No, it's three. It's three. <laughs> we got, why are we together? This group, right? Hypocrites. Preaches the word, but doesn't live by it. A karmic couple it is, is actually being exposed whoever this person is that caused themselves uh exposing somebody that they was obsessed with jealous of envious of is actually the person that is in this situation are part of this situation got the karmic couple here karmic couple there somebody's in an unrequited love situation Somebody's plans is falling apart because they wanted to put somebody in a negative light because they didn't want something to change. Now, what all these people got in common collective is they don't want to change. So, brother, if it was somebody doing a reading, getting a reading, doing spell work, having spell work done, they share the energy of control, domination. That's what brings all these people together. 
That's what keeps them together. But they can't trust each other. Fifty and still sexy. Maybe you fifty, you could be close to fifty. This is about somebody that's older, whether they're in their fifties or not. But definitely speaking about a lick. We got a lick here, a lick there, a lick there, a lick there. I mean, I don't say, that sounds like a setup to me. Possibly with somebody that was younger that was involved. Somebody that was smiling in their face. Uh-huh. Like being shy. Somebody having an epiphany. They did already. They ghosted that situation. Or people are ghosting him. Say that they don't know uh, your divine counterpart personally. Some of you, they don't. Whatever they sent out, petition to have done to you is happening in their environment. So if they have a relationship... People are leaving. If they have a business, people are not patronizing their business. If they wanted you to be trapped up in a uh, legal situation, they are trapped up in a legal situation as long as you stay away from them. But this person here, because if they get by you or get your attention, then they're going to do something to throw you off track. It's like they doing this emperor or just like they doing you emperor. <laughs> all right, seeing is believing. Okay. Release from a stronghold from a binding. Yeah, somebody going to somebody mad. Look at this. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. So if you have a platform or if this is surrounding your work or family environment, this is somebody, you know, Charliana. And come in. Hey, friend. <laughs> Look, I get it. Right? <laughs> I get it. I know, what's, I know what's happening. I'm going to keep on moving on. We got aggressive eavesdropping. Distracted driving. Observing the scenery of an accident or a crime. This is Charliana. Right? Trolling. A divine couple. They want to see the messages. This is somebody that think that they can connect with you telepathically. Maybe because they got the attention of this emperor. But they ain't got divine feminine. Mm -mm. She wouldn't be divine feminine if they had her. Um... Now, for some of you, you know, maybe you are divine feminine. You could be partnered up with somebody that you refuse to see in their true light. That's a lesson for you. I mean, but this wouldn't be nothing that you don't already feel. Because, again, this is a test, right? Make sure you eat your Wheaties with stamina being here. Um, I'm about to end it there. Because, oh, well, let's do convene. Why is this here? Damn, that was fast. <laughs> Pretends to be your twin or your soulmate or pretends to be down for you. They are very manipulative. They lie. Somebody that you love lied about you, lied about someone that was innocent. They pretended to be for you. They're not. Right? Look at that right there. Now, this is a sign. This is my angel's card. So, I know that they're, they're getting signs. You are attached to someone with a lot of karmic debt. This person that you converse with. This person that attempts to hire you. And interesting enough, somebody said something about um, how do you protect your energy? Not shaking hands with people that got karmic debt on them. Not trying to help people that's not trying to help themselves. People that's trying to cause endings. You, you know, they said when you're a medium, right? So that tells me you got some sort of gift. 
Now, you may be in the midst of a test where you're learning how to develop that gift. But the, the, the one way to lower your vibration, everybody talk about alcohol and drugs. Look, we're talking about the spirit world. We're talking about spiritual gatekeepers. Y'all think it's about that? You just think it's about that, right? The one way... <laughs> It's some some of these gatekeepers at the crossroads with whiskey and and this is not me trying to promote no alcohol. I say you don't do what you feel you need to do. If you have issues with any alcohol or drug abuse, I am not promoting that. Seek out the proper authorities. This reading is for entertainment purposes only. But what I am saying is. Whoever this is deals with the dark and the light. Whether if they're at the top of the wheel or at the bottom. So how you... Archangel Jermail. We got God lifts me up. You know, the song like Rihanna. Yeah. yeah. Visions and dreams. Scorpionic energy. Discouraged and trouble. I mean, you know, where's my, uh, I guess we got in there like swimwear. Mm -hmm. Either show me what it is. We need to see. Come on, man. I honor animals with reverence, child. Oh, man. Hey. Somebody's into some stuff. That if you ain't if you if you ain't tapped in with that them the protection of them ancestors, you gonna have some problems. We got a sensory feast. The next time you eat, pretend each bite is the only one. Savor their experience. And I and I and I heard they ate that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Purposeful steps. Reaching a goal involves taking one step in the direction of what matters and then another. What direction are you walking in? What is your next step? Predicting the future. Didn't that come out? That came out in one of the last... Make sure to watch it because it's going to resonate with somebody that's involved in this. So you may be saying, oh, that's not my story either. Oh, but wait, it most definitely is. It may not be you, but it's your story. We got disengaging your autopilot. Uh -huh. Interrupt your mental autopilot by paying attention to what you are doing on purpose. Turn off the radio, hold the steering wheel, and feel its texture. Notice where your foot makes contact with the gas pedal. All oh, gas, no brakes. Take note of what you observe. This is talking about being present here, being grounded. Because the moral of the story is your pain has wisdom. What do you most, what do your most difficult thoughts, feelings, sensations, and memories that you struggle with tell you about what's important in your life? Hmm. I embrace the all. And, and there we have it. That's divine feminine energy right there. That's omni consciousness. That's, that's, that's 360 degrees of the knowledge, deuces. <laughs>